You do taste metal, yeah. Mm -hmm. Huh. Weird. Ugh. This is awful. Uh, this is so as so as a so medical so doctor weird. of significant caliber, I would say the first thing that comes to your mind is you may have sustained some level of uh, neurological damage mm -hmm. from that. You, you may have a concussion. <laughs> well, I may have gotten a fucking yeah. I mean, not not a stroke. Probably a stroke too. But yeah, some sort of neural brain brain pulse that yeah you should probably give yourself a, a, a brain scan after this all right all right uh, oh god um fire again <laughs> <laughs> willow uh what are you doing uh actually willow willow 2 uh the willow yep in the uh in the Shipped uh, or wait, do your your bots have radar, or is it just the vehicle that has radar? Uh, good question. I th don't think Power Armor has built-in radar. Just vehicles. I know robots do. I, I yeah, I think only vehicles do. So I don't think Power Armor has radar. Okay. They have, let me, hold on. Let me double check that because I think I'm I'm not 100 percent on that. Let me double check. Power Armor might actually because it is technically a vehicle. Power armor, yep, power armor has radars. Okay. So you hear uh via radio uh from Dawnspire. Um they say, uh Willow. Uh, hey, what's up? Drone Willow. We're picking up a large radar signature coming from the south. Uh it's moving fast. Decepticons roll out. <laughs> Decepticons. Uh, I mean, it's because you know Megatron. Or, uh, yeah, not Megatron. Those are the bad guys. Uh, yeah, yeah. No, that's who I want. Yeah, that's who I wanted. That, that's oh. what it is. It's not not Megatron. It's um. You think we're the good guys? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, like oh, I didn't. Awkward. I didn't. I didn't mean Megatron. It's uh, what's his face? Yeah, no, Megatron. Yeah, he's a bad guy, right? Yeah. Yeah. After the yeah, that's who he sounds like. <laughs> Decepticons roll out. Hmm. As a joke. Um. um <laughs> So as, large signature, as in like the Death's Head signature. Larger. Do we have? Do we know of anything bigger? You than have not seen that? anything bigger than that. No. You should maybe prepare another one of those boom beam things. Cause already on it. You, you're <laughs> vaguely aware of this comms through through radio, Rudge. And uh, you. Wait. Uh, uh, the, all the, the drugs. Give me more drugs. Question: Does does the do the troops from up north break off that were meeting like the rendezvous people? Yes. Do they break off? Okay, they do detach. Oh. Uh, you yeah. pro you would have destroyed one of those bots for sure. Yeah. Uh, it only had sixty MDCs left. So yeah, um, the coalition seemed to be detaching and attempting to secure the Death's Head transport. So at least momentarily, they're not a concern. So let's focus on whatever that is. All right, all right. Oh my god. Um, yeah, Zero's like, Sir, I... <laughs> you are currently at the threshold for overdose on painkillers and other stimulants. What's the threshold? Like, one more? Three more? One one-tenth of what you did. <laughs> I will administer the non-lethal... Uh, the... <laughs> The, uh, the maximum non-lethal dosage. <laughs> great. It is not great at this point. <laughs> it's. It, it doesn't matter at this point. I'm either going to die from the from the drugs, or this goddamn alien gun. So y you feel the um, you feel the drugs like, kind of come come through. Uh, it manifests more in like blurriness and fuzziness mm -hmm. mostly on your body side of things so oh. the point where like you're much clearer more clearly perceptive as the tower okay um and as that happens and you're sort of adjusting to it um i try to focus and and, and see what's coming from the south you see 
Uh, sort of like from the clouds. The clouds? Uh, so like atmosphere? Well, no, not not from the clouds. From okay. Through the clouds. From like the lower clouds. Yeah, through. Okay. Um, I was like, oh shit, did we call down like that fucking orbital defense system? Yeah, no, it's, it's not not coming down to, to fuck <laughs> you up. Um, I mean, I was going to laugh at seriously. <laughs> like, oh, you guys uh, done goofed. Yep. You see a... At first you think it's like several death heads flying in formation. Uh, but then you realize that it is, in fact, a much larger vessel. Um, a mega death a head. Triple headed nice. death head, basically. What? Yeah, mega death head. <laughs> um, All right. You need to play some mega death for that. Some symphony okay, of destruction. Um. All right. I have to rephrase my. Uh, my entry of this thing actually um it's not coming it's not it's closer to the ground than i said it was it's only like a couple hundred feet off the ground ah either way um, it's big yeah so it's like a giant flying triple death head tank thing oh those fucking super tank things yeah oh gross um and it fires yeah on the tower Without yep, okay. hesitation. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, Without hesitation, he says. So. Can I fire back? Rudge. Simultaneously. You feel the impact of. One thousand three hundred mega damage <laughs> as two massive rail guns uh, ex accelerate uh, huge payloads into the top of the disc. Um, and then a you also see a, a missile, a uh, large missile fire out of uh, one of the like tubes that it's firing from and that's another uh oh a measly 80 damage uh, from that that's barely even a a note um but you're you're bombarded with attacks and it like you feel the attacks um in sort of like the force of the impact uh as you see it, the metal is hit and like there's uh you know like when a bullet fires into ballistic jelly yep you know, that kind of like contrail that that's basically mm. what happens to the metal as it just like ripples out and then collapses back down um into itself and um your attention is like sharply brought around towards this thing um with like black spots already forming across your uh your vision oh man um yeah that that like hurt a little bit it hurts your brain a little bit oh my god quit hurting me <laughs> <laughs> why what are you gonna do Fi this thing's I, well, coming in. I said, could I fire back simultaneously, but that... that yeah, you can fire back. That, that has gone. Now I actually took the damage first, so... See, I was hoping I could fire before I got the extra damage, so it wouldn't hinder my shot. You know, it's like, oh, incoming, blast back, but... It actually seemed to focus your vision more. Ooh. Getting hit by it. Like... It's, you feel like it's easier to target this thing now. All right. Um, yeah, so you me. don't you don't have to roll another D one hundred roll, but I do need you to give me another save for psionics. Hey. 
Yeah. 13. 13? Yes. Okay. Now roll a d20. Ah. Seven. Okay. Um, so the same thing happens. You focus, um, and the attack charges. You, you can't even really see the death's head, or, uh, not the death's head, the, the super triple-headed death's head. Um, when the attack goes off, it's just all, like, a black circle in front of you, and it charges up. Um, Willow, now you're actually able to see the effect. <laughs> so excited uh, for this. As you're Willow, standing in the field. Willow just pulls um, out a notebook and starts taking notes. Watching. Uh, you see the beam fire out and hit the side of the death's head and boom, go out into a big orb. Uh, Rudge, roll 1d6. Five. All right. Uh, multiply that by a thousand. Five thousand. Dun, 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 dun. Um. So now is that the most damage you've ever done, Rudge? Ever. Mike. Mike. <laughs> In the ever. So, the attack hits, and deletes the right side of this vessel. Yes. It's just gone now. Yes. Um, it drops down uh, out of the sky and uh, makes a ungraceful landing. We'll just say it like it, it is large enough that like half of the ship seems to be still more or less functional, but it's it just like immediately taken down a peg. Um, Rudge, you are barely able to, uh, make out the result of your attack before you descend once more into a fevered, unconscious haze <laughs> of, like, <laughs> swirling dark shapes in an infinite void. Um, keep me, keep me propped up and... On, on... Like zero, you know. Like keep me here. I may come back in in into it. You sort of um. You see the the sort of visions swimming before your eyes as before, briefly, and the the figures sort of surrounding you, watching you, become more intense as you're aware of the sort of like faint humanoid silhouettes and eyes watching you blacker than the darkness around them just like super black um and then you slip into actual unconsciousness um it's worth noting uh rudge passes out completely uh and his hand remains on the uh sphere control stick thing in a death grip um and zero and uh dr torres can actually see the needles are like piercing through his fingers now oh boy <laughs> but you know that's that's not great no <laughs> But you dealt with the immediate threat. Uh, the Coalition, while they are not... Uh, they're not, like, defeated. They are definitely not pursuing an offensive now. All right. They are retreating away from the city. Um, thankfully, they don't know that the... Uh, the manner of the big gun is not capable of firing another shot. What do you mean? I could totally fire another shot. Well, I mean, not right now. <laughs> uh, 
Um, yeah, but uh, Willow, you, you see that, and you watch as the coalition retreats uh, to the east. God damn, if I had my power armor right now, <laughs> I'd be like shooting fish in a barrel. <laughs> beep, 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 beep. Yeah. Oof. That is really cool. Actually, if that allows me to run to the city, I'm totally doing that. Yeah. You you basically have uh, clear f free reign to do anything around this area now. Awesome. That's all I wanted in the first place. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So uh, I will I'll, I'll call to the people of Dawnspire and let them know that me and my forces are on the way. All right. Uh, I'll actually, in all honesty, where am I on the map? I'm like right there. I'm how far away is that? A couple miles distance wise from me to my stuff. Oh, six miles rough. I'm just going to have like, can. Okay. So my car, actually my car's still okay. It's not great. It's not great at all. It's got, it's got a little under 70 MDCs left. <laughs> so it'll putter its way there too. So yeah, I'll let that, I'll let Don Spider know we're on our way and. I will meet up at the gate with my forces. All right. Yeah. So you you return uh, to the gate to see um, the uh, the troops who are who are, who are ready for battle are like looking up at the tower. Some of them in like awe. Some of them are on their knees like praying, um, and some of them are more just in like stunned shock. Yeah, man, I really wish I had my power armor. I totally just glide in here looking all awesome. Um, but as you arrive, there is a chorus of cheering as they give you full credit. <laughs> uh. <laughs> for no. Quit slacking, Rudge. Gosh. Yeah, come I on, Rudge. Wake all up. The work. <laughs> uh. You're just sleeping up in the tower and all nicely. Yeah. You know. And you're up in your ivory tower. You know, I'm sorry, Obsidian Tower. One of these days, uh, like when when I, you know, wake up, you'll know, you'll know what's up. <laughs> um, and so will the rest yeah. of this shitty, <laughs> shitty. Yeah. Game. So, I would would Zero try and get Rudge away from the controls, or would he just leave him there? Um, he would, he'd, uh, tell him to, uh, yeah, that, yeah, I told, I told him to keep me there, because I think the battle needs to keep going. Okay, yeah, so he's doing that. Yep. Um, after about an hour... This is the point where Willow would probably get there, and I assume, Willow, you're going to go up to Rudge right away. Oh, hell yeah. So, uh, you, you come in, and uh, Torres sort of looks, uh, Dr. Torres sort of looks over at you. There's a couple, a pair of um, Dawnspire uh, guards here as well. And uh, she sort of nods and says, Willow, uh, good to see you. There is... Um, well, see for yourself. Rudge is a pile on the floor. So, you see Rudge just, like, hanging out of a trash can, spewing uh, coolant all around the floor. Uh, just sort of, like, leaned up against this dome. And Zero is just standing next to him on guard, basically, with, like, a hand on his shoulder. Yep. Um, and his hand is wrapped around this sphere... Um, you see needles piercing through his fingers and they, they've begun to like fork off and curl around to like start wrapping around his fingers. Yeah. So it's like kind of like absorbing him almost. Yeah. Like, almost. Okay. Or at, at the very least, it's like tying him into yeah. this control yeah. panel. Has he been doing this long? He, since the beginning of the battle, and uh, I suggested that we try and extricate him from it, but Zero is insistent that we 
follow his last directive, which was to hold him here, I believe he said. Yes, um... Hmm, how long has he been unconscious? Since the last shot. Oh boy, um... Does he I... have any... Does he have any open wounds that are actively... How, actually, how is this coolant system? Where's his armor? It was mostly destroyed. Uh, that is most of what's left of it. She indicates the trash can spewing coolant. <laughs> <laughs> I really wish this was like a sitcom because like <laughs> her hands on her hip and like, oh, you. <laughs> oh, Rudge. Yeah. Classic Rudge. Uh, I... Do you think Willow thinks that she could repair his suit in this condition, like with how much he's fucked everything up? It would be more like she's just making a new suit out of the materials. It it it, it would not be a quick process. We'll yeah, that's that that, that's what I mean. Like, would it be yeah. a would it be possible to? <laughs> create well okay so standard like um power armors have environmental suits built into them yeah would i be able to modify one easier to like handle his temperatures you could take the coolant tech that he has and integrate it into something like that yeah I, if they would allow me, slash, if I think it's feasible within a timely manner, I would do that. Because, okay. like, I, I can't medical him. The best thing I could do is get his suit, a suit, up and running for him. Right. Would I, would I be able to modify something for his figure? Yeah. You'd be able to do something. It, I mean, again, it, it's not going to... Yeah, it's not going to be super pretty. It's I mean, going to be, I, like, a real quick fix if you're doing it in a short period of time. Yeah, I mean, I, something that will, like, not break down, basically, is what I'm going for. Like, he may be a trash can for the next, you know, six to eight weeks while I build him a real suit. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, because I will do that then. Okay. You're um, going to let him uh, keep sitting in the... Uh... I mean, I, in all honesty, I have no idea what he's been through. And as much as I would say, yeah, I mean, I will definitely probably have the tools and stuff brought up here so I can work on it and keep an eye on him. And if I think it's getting, if it's like trying to engulf him more, I'll attempt to intervene. Okay. But uh, uh, based on what I saw outside, I don't want to piss this computer off. <laughs> in the time that it takes, it does not go past his hand, but it, it does begin to like engulf his hand more thoroughly. Interesting. Well, we'll see what happens when he comes to, if he comes to. Yep. <laughs> and once again, we leave Raj unconscious. Yes. <laughs> Two in a row. Oh, man. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> Raj is like, all right, I've destroyed my body. Time to destroy my mind. <laughs> all right. So now we're going on to the new stage of Raj, which I also have a Digimon for this. <laughs> I think what we learned today is that Rudge is a Digimon. Yeah, basically, that's all I can kind of think of right now. It's obviously not the same thing, but close enough. This is what I imagine we're or we're kind of heading towards one way or another eventually. What a fucking Rudge stew! <laughs> <laughs> wow, spike ball! It's me <laughs> flying that around. Yeah. I mean, you just glued your torso onto the bottom of a, a giant tower, five-headed flail landmine mm -hmm. drill. Yeah, yeah. I mean, each one of those things can grab things and whatnot. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I mean, yeah, oh, Pokemon. Sure. If in case you're curious, <laughs> if in case you need some ideas, Raj. Um. Yeah. All right. So we'll we'll leave it here for this session. Uh, you guys have uh, successfully driven the coalition into something of a stalemate. Oh my god, we fucking need that death Like, if I can convert that into living metal, oh my god, army. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
Um, so next time, I guess we'll see what you guys do uh, in response to the um, now slightly less uh, unbalanced power between you and the coalition here. Are they just like in the time that like Willow's like, you know, fixing up the suit, does it look like they're approaching at all or are they staying defensive around their big structures? They're staying defensive. Okay. Good to know. Um, let's see. They need to make some calls. <laughs> yeah, I, I can imagine. <laughs> we'll just put it that way. Yeah. Hopefully their communications are interrupted in some way, shape, or form. Because we're a ways yeah. out from their home tower, so without a working comms, like a high-powered comms. Guess we'll see. Yeah, I guess we'll oh, see. It's... Cookie crumbles. Yeah, this, this cookie is crumbling quickly. Good job, Rudge. You are officially like an oatmeal raisin cookie. You were delicious, but what the hell are you doing in here? <laughs> <laughs> well, you know. Sort of amazing. If, you be, if you become a giant tower, I'm going to be jealous, just so you know. <laughs> That's like Willow's dream, is to like, become a giant like, I want to be a giant tower. tower. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's probably why she does it. She's like, oh, no, this is fine. He probably wants this. Yeah, that, that's exactly that's her train of thought. She's like, oh, I mean, I would do that. So why not? <laughs> I'm sure he planned for the tower to subsume him. Of course. <laughs> you got it. You you know, you knew my, um, you knew my plan all along. Just become yeah. one with the tower and then un, just ru rule this world, this little area as the tower. <laughs> yeah, but uh, well played, both of you. Both Rudge for his brazen lack of self-preservation and uh, scientific dedication, and and Willow for her um, her clever maneuvering. That was, uh, to that was fun. Turn the situation around for herself. It was actually yeah, really well done. Yeah, yeah. that was good thing we had that good thing you got that tower up and going. Yeah, yeah, I don't know if would have, been... would have uh, if negotiations would have gone the same without it. <clears throat> uh, I don't think so. I mean, out of game, I was willing to go with for a little bit. Um, but at the same time, it could have just been fun to break free and see if I could make it to the city. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been interesting. I mean, you could have still like played with Rudge even because you have your complex drone. Exactly. So I mean, been like, all right, Willow is yep, gone exactly. for a bit. That's exactly it. That's why I was saying I was more than willing to be captive because yeah. honestly, that only affects me partially. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. then it would then it would have been rescue Willow and Chip. I mean, you still have a chance to surrender yourself. Oh my God! Should I just go out there and surrender? Big, like, I promised I would surrender. <laughs> that would be freaking hilarious. Like I kept my word. And they're just like, mm. what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> like, how unnerving would that be? I want to surrender. I want to be a prisoner. Yes, bring me back to your base. No, thank you. And they're just gonna be like, no, we're just going to kill you here. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> yeah. I, I'm, uh, I'm making the better version of Reg in a trash can right now. <laughs> Upgraded. Because yeah, he's lie. in his armor most times. Like that that picture I have down there, right? Yep. You know, like so. I'm like, oh man, I should have been rocking that this entire time. But I like that I'm a llama. So. Oh, that reminds me, um, Mike, you should totally send me a picture of your Ultra Race and Solaris, so that way I can like add them in like properly. There. Yeah, like all their stuff. Like take a screenshot of like their overall thing. Is there a way to just give you that? that data? There like, yeah. might be, but okay. I, I don't actually know if there is or not. A screenshot would probably just be easier, really. Well, it is, it is this. Like, Rudge, that's what I go with. I run I run this minus the horns because I that's Photoshop the, the horns. Portrait. Yep, that's the portrait. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I know that. And that, that's what I have. I basically <laughs> have like them there. Yeah, all their like, little, like, whether oh. your species focus on science and all that stuff. I got you. Yeah, yeah. They're a megacore and, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, exactly. Know, she, just... All that shit. Yep. I, I did try to make them pretty close to Rudge. Or like I mean that's, like I mean, what I've what I've been describing throughout this campaign. Yeah, that I mean that's what I went with. And that's kinda like what I have. Aristocratic. Yep, 
it's there there's a king right. there's nobles uh it's a it's a what's not a caste but the the thing that there's like those different types of social um whatever you have the caste systems and stuff yeah but i can't they don't call it caste they don't use that word in there they use it they use something yeah. else like not secular either but i can't remember either way i'm i'm that <laughs> yep and like very very into uh exploration and uh science and all that stuff like i i went hard into exploration and because that's what rudge does and i actually yep, yep. Made, i actually made king rudge just because like well i'm not just gonna have him be a lowly scientist <laughs> <laughs> yeah well that's what if I'll you made him a scientist he would he would go and become you know, lost while discover yeah. while exploring yeah. an anomaly yeah exactly or one of the artifact things i'd wake up a yep. pissed off ancient dragon it would eat me uh, i mean this one works well, now you, you'd absorb into like the void mm-hmm. yeah no this is definitely like a solaris in event where your oh, scientist yeah. yep. your ship is destroyed and your scientist disappears for x number of years yep uh before like returning with some weird modifier oh yeah comes back, <laughs> Absolutely. Comes back as a building yeah oh well, yeah he uh he encountered a different and en- you know entity on planet dirt yep and so I found the Enigma machine. Yep, exactly. <laughs> the Enigma machine or whatever. It's the Infinity yeah. machine. Who knows yeah, what this the, thing yep. is. <laughs> I still haven't beaten that game. So almost like every time I play, because I put it down for a long time. So when I come back to it, there's a lot of new stuff that I don't remember. I'm like, oh, yeah. yeah I, I kind of, yeah, Solaris. Yeah, I always get to like the the like beginning of the late game. Yeah. And then just like get distracted. Yep. See, I always, I always pretty, almost really always well. like. I like always defeat the crisis and then I get to get bored of conquering the galaxy, but I have conquered the galaxy twice, like entirely. Nice. I feel like the crisis is like the main exciting thing. Yeah. I mean, it is. I got a well, few I mean, DLCs like... to keep it going, like to make like the utopia and all that stuff. Yeah. I, so, yeah. I, yeah. I have like everything bought and for it. I have like, cool. I, like, I mean, I go all out. Like, so I start off with every, I start, I start off on like the biggest galaxy, every empire, and they're all advanced starts. Oh, nice. And then I crank up the crisis to at least times two or two to two point five, mm-hmm. and like shit gets wild when like their fleets are like two point six million. Oh, oh my god, that's insane! And, that, and you're yeah. like, I don't even know how, because like the biggest thing I've seen was one of the fallen empires with like a hundred and nine thousand. I'm like, holy oh shit, yeah, that's the biggest thing I've ever seen. Because like I said, yeah, like, I don't beat the I haven't beat the game yet, and I play. Yeah, if game. you if you get into like late game, like there gets to be like this point where like you can pump out like a hundred thousand army in a couple like minutes, basically. Wow. But the resources that you go through, it takes so much micromanaging that like you just want to bang your head on a table. You're like, oh yeah. cool, that was you know one month. Yep. <laughs> I have the strongest army I think right now, except for the Fallen Empire, that is in yeah. that is in there. I I think I put it down to one because I'm like, what the fuck? These guys are just bullies because you can't build next to them. They want, they want, they. It oh, depends on which one it is. Folks are the worst. That's yeah. yeah. See, right now I actually am okay with the ones. He just. Uh, I like. He's okay. The Xenophiles, though. Yep. The event where they're just like, can we have one of your people? Yep. One of your scientists, <laughs> and Roger's like, yeah, me. Yeah, <laughs> I've done that. I've totally done that. Yep. Because that's that's sure. Weird. Yeah, because that's the that's the style of my guys. I'm like, oh, you want a scientist? Here you go. I uh, I I let the fucking fungus things uh, integrate. Oh, no, no, not, the, not one of your scientists. One of your population. Oh, the, oh xeno, yeah. the xenophiles are like they want to basically put some the of zoo. your people yeah. in the zoo. Yeah. yeah. Oh right, right. I uh, like you can do it, and they'll be happy, but your people will be upset because you know, like mm-hmm. basically just sold. I th- you know, think some I people said into no. zoo slavery. Yeah, I think I said no to that. I don't remember. Yeah, but I lost that game because I eventually got murdered and killed and too pissed off too many boarders. Yeah, yeah. I like uh, in my like most recent game that I'm actually doing like a multiplayer game with my little brother right now. I have um, I'm using Willow's High or uh, Willow's Hive, mm-hmm. and. I was doing like absolutely awesome, but I have like all the worst events in my territory. Like I have like the Stellarite Devourer. I have like oh, several different like like the Ether Drake, like yeah, the I Wraith. The Drake. I the have like boss. I literally have like six different things in my territory, oh, and my yeah. territory is not that big. I have like because we're doing a small galaxy because he's not used to playing on bigger galaxies yet. Mm-hmm. But like in my quadrant that I'm like kind of controlling a little bit, I have all of that shit. 
So like I have like seven different areas that I just simply can't go. So I'm like, cool. <laughs> My I have the biggest fleet in the galaxy at like ten thousand, and everyone else is like well below me. And I'm like, well, no, this is dumb. <laughs> stuck in here yeah and then my, my planet's like my i have like some weird event going on with my planet too so i'm like my home world i'm like this is cool i've got <laughs> one same thing where it's like uh like gases are trying to escape or something yep same oh, same, same exact one i have yeah. yeah that's the federation event yep, yep that's what I'm are, are you playing on multiplayer no i just do it i guess i'm just doing a single player trying to beat the damn thing i don't so know if i ever will so... do multiplayer yeah, yeah. I mean, multiplayer is really buggy sometimes. Plus, I just, you know, I, I pause. Yeah, yeah no, 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 that's the thing. Is like we, we pause frequently. Yep. But no, what I was going to say is be careful with that event. Don't try to rely on it at all because it requires two people to complete the tasks. Oh. And the AI sometimes won't complete it because they'll, they'll basically queue it up, mm -hmm. but then they'll keep pushing it down the queue for more important events. Oh, <laughs> I see. Yep, I get it. So if it's a timed event, you may just get fucked. Yep, whatever. I just I'm, trust the AI. When, when yeah. it said that, like once I noticed that it says that the Federation is working, I'm like, oh, well, I stopped caring then. I did my part. Up to you. Yep. I did my part. I'm going. I'm gone. Yep. I have a <laughs> lot more things to deal with right now. I've got fucking yep. artifacts in uh, people's territories that they won't let me in. So I'm, yep. I'm doing the slow boat for tip <laughs> for diplomacy, and I got a couple borders open. So now I got those. And now I try it with these other guys. I'm like, no, I just want your fucking place. So I'm so I'm 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 warring <laughs> very soon. My allies just went to war with other people. I'm like, no, no, I'm no, I got this guy to deal with right now. So, whatever, that's fine. I have the biggest army in the in the place. I don't think anyone's gonna come knocking on my door because my allies started shit. My my last game I did was, uh, I was playing pacifist slavers <laughs> um so just like basically super elitist asshole i just was the most rude to all the like weak people around me to try and like provoke them into attacking me yeah just, like just give me a reason to come and like make sure that you're peaceful <laughs> like yes awesome. peace is not negotiable <laughs> Oh no! You're you're being aggressive. We have to invade you and make sure that you're peaceful now. That's Here, let me put this peace collar on your neck. <laughs> make sure that it it, in, it encourages yeah. peaceful activity. Turns out, <laughs> pacifist slavers is just passive aggressive uh, fascists. <laughs> Pretty fun. That's funny. Yeah, I love all the crazy events, and every time that I see that shit pop up, I'm just thinking, yeah, this is the type of shit that Rudge did in his scientist <laughs> yeah, life. Yeah, yeah like, yep. the problem is you need to make it so all of them are named Rudge, just so you can blame it on Rudge every time. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yeah, no, he's long dead. <laughs> he's, he, he, he got reelected on his own twice. Uh, I didn't even, I didn't have to oh. fuck with the election or, you know, influence it at all because I wanted to. I'm like, oh, I don't want him to get, to get voted out, but I do not have the influence to fuck with it. You know, I didn't have, yep. like it would have, it would have eaten it all up and then I couldn't have expanded. So I'm like, you're on your own, man. And then, and then he made it. I'm like, yes, he kept, he stayed till he died. I think he died in <laughs> office. It's fun to do the, like, um. If you take the venerable trait and then uh, go on science on on the like genetic upgrading route where you increase leader lifespan, mm -hmm. you can just create like the immortal cyber king. Yeah, I totally should. Just like I did that once with and my, I think it was my queen was like hundreds of, from the start of the game. Just like I kept increasing leader lifespan and she never died. Yeah, awesome. that's that's what it's I always like go for, like maximum experience level. Yep. Yep. I'm trying to keep. Like, I I I started with like, so, like the trait of just long life, not the super long life. So yeah. I think they, I think he lives. You know, they live like 120 or something. But yeah, it's a good run. Yeah. It's enough to give, get the old ones some decent experience. Mm -hmm. Yep. All um, right. Well, I'm gonna log off. Yep. For sure. I will see you guys. Talk to you guys next week for a god game, and that should be fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it will be. <laughs> I'll uh, post this soon, and 
it's all it's all good <laughs> sounds awesome yeah talk to you guys later later later, later.